The GBSU baseball team fell to the University of Akron on Friday afternoon by a score of 5-3. to three. The Lakers now sit at 3-3 three and three overall in the early part of the season. Here to discuss all things GV baseball is head coach Jamie Detillion. Coach, welcome back to the program. A chance to go down to Ohio, play a Division I MAC opponent. How was that trip for you and your team? Um, well, of course, we liked a better outcome. But, um, you know, I'll tell you what, I really like the way that we prepare during the week. Um, you know, we've got a great group of kids. They're a hardworking group of kids that, that they're hungry to win. Um, you know, and it, if winning were easy, everybody could do it all the time. And it, that's just not the case in any sport for that matter. But um, we're going to continue to grind. We're going to continue to get better. Um, so, you know, one loss is one loss, and it's to a Division One school who's getting better. Um, that program is only two years old. And, and Chris Sable, uh, I was a big fan of his growing up. Uh, he's their head coach. So uh, he'll do a nice job there. Uh, it just may take a little bit of time to get the program running. But, um, you know, it, it was a good challenge for us this early in the season. Speaking of nice job, how about the start from Nick Rutkowski? Six innings, gave up just one run on four hits, only one walk as well. He was very efficient with 64 pitches across six innings, Coach. He really was. You know, he came to us uh, the first week of classes. He transferred uh, from Oakland University, and, um, you know, we're still uh, in the early stages with him and just learning about him. And, you know, I just like how he goes about his business, his demeanor, his makeup. Um, you know, it's all the ingredients for being a pretty successful Division II college pitcher. Um, and he's given us two quality starts so far, so excited to see where this year goes for him. And then watching from the live stream coach, Connor Steinball, the starter for Akron, had a really electric arm. He had a really good fastball, but you guys found a way to hit him around a little bit, got a couple of runs in the third inning, actually took the lead early on in that game. Yeah, I thought we had a, a pretty good game plan. It was just a, a good uh, demeanor with our team. Just uh, like I said, the, the, the pregame, the, um, you know, just the energy leading up to it, just a really good baseball energy. Kind of uh, gave me deja vu of some of our teams uh, in the past here that have gone on and done some big things. So uh, that was exciting for me to see as the coach. Um, and yeah, they're, they're starting pitcher. He, he pounded the strike zone. Um, I thought we had a pretty good game plan against him. And, you know, after the top of the seventh, we had a 3-1 lead. The top two-thirds of your lineup, too, Coach. The first six hitters, all with at least one base hit. Christian Faust did a nice job setting the table for you. Four of five out of your leadoff spot. I think you'll take that just about every game if you can get it, right? Yeah, no question. And Chris is just a hardworking kid. Um, really a, a great guy to coach. He comes to practice every single day with a, a blue-collar workmanship about him. And and he really exemplifies the little things, which we're really, really trying to, to preach to all of our guys. But um, it's good to see that show up on game day. Coach, we talked last week on the trip to North Carolina about kind of trying to get back into the baseball rhythm. Now that you'd played some games, had a chance to get back and get back into a rhythm, did you feel like it was a little bit better this time around? I did. Like I said, I really liked that, that first seven-plus uh, innings, um, you know, as a whole. I mean, all three sides of the baseball uh, between the pitching, hitting, and defense was really good. Um, you know, and, and it felt like, you know, that, that was the flashes that I needed to see. So I, I'm excited about where this could go. But, um, you know, again, we, we were finally able to get on our field this weekend. So that was our first practice. So now we got that one out of the way and it's, it's time to roll. Coach, uh, obviously you don't want to ever lose a game, but playing against a good up and coming Mac program like you talked about, what do you hope your team takes from this loss here as you get more forward more into the season? Well, uh, you know, we got, we got to hang on. When we're ahead late in the game like that, we got to hang on. Just, just preparation, routines, all that stuff, uh, which, you know, there's no – no excuse. We lost. We lost a game. Uh, there's no change in that. Uh, we do need to learn from it and, you know, learn about bullpen routines and learn about late in the game what we do in certain situations, how, you know, how we control emotions, that kind of thing. Uh, because once we get there, um, anything can happen in the sport of baseball. And I, I just like the way that we prepare. So, um, you know, hopefully that leads to some good things here in the near future. Hopefully some good weather as well as you can stay outside and practice on your field and get ready for some more great GLIAC baseball. Coach, thanks so much for your time. All right. Thanks, guys.